Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Version CS3 of Photoshop first introduced smart objects, which allow you to make what is called non-destructive editing, meaning you can make changes to an image without overwriting the original data. Smart objects are simply layers that contain raster or vector images. You can create smart objects in several ways. You can select File from the menu bar and then say Open as Smart Object, or you could select File and then Place to place an image as a smart object. You could select Filter and then Convert for Smart Filters to convert an image to a smart object. In Bridge, you can select File, Place in Photoshop to import a document as a smart object. Or you could drag a PDF or Adobe Illustrator object or layer into a Photoshop document. Now we're working right now with an image that comes preloaded with the Adobe Photoshop application called Smart Objects PSD. And this is a good example. It already has a bunch of smart objects already set up for us here. Now you can duplicate a smart object by selecting layer and then new and then layer via copy from the menu bar. Or you can drag the smart object layer onto the create a new layer icon at the bottom of the layers panel either way. You'll see it creates a new one right over here, DJ Copy 8 for us. Changes you make to either the copy or the original also change the other. To edit content of a smart object, first select the object from the Layers panel, and then select Layer, and then Smart Objects, and then Edit Contents from the menu bar. Now you'll get this message here that tells you that after editing the contents to choose File and Save to commit the changes, those changes will be reflected upon returning to Smart Objects PSD, the image that we're working on. The file must be saved to the same location. We'll go ahead and click OK. Then what it will do is launch Adobe Illustrator, which would then allow us to go in and edit that particular document. We're not going to do that right now, so we'll go ahead and exit here. Now you can also update the image in one or more instances of the smart object by selecting layer and then smart objects again and then replace contents from this side menu here. To export the contents of a smart object select the smart objects in the layers panel and then select layer Smart Objects, Export Contents from the menu bar. Now if you no longer need to edit the smart object and you wish to convert it to a regular layer which rasterizes the content, select the smart object and then select Layer, we've looked at this before, Rasterize, and then Smart Object from the menu bar, like that. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.